Hi, welcome back to my bedroom as I continue my packing for my Italian summer trip, fingers crossed. So I posted earlier about all my health and beauty things. And so I thought I'd just show you a very quick run through of some of the things that are making it um, fashion wise into my bag. I know lots of you have asked about it. So, well, first and foremost, I need a really comfy pair of shoes. You know, I think when you're traveling, and you're away, you're just going to be doing more walking, more sightseeing. And the brand that I really, really love, I've worn them for years, is Fit Flop, created by my lovely friend Marcia Kilgore. She's just sent me these, actually. These are their latest Fit Flop sandals. They're kind of ergonomically designed. They're really simple, stylish. They just kind of never go out of fashion. They really work. They're waterproof. You can wear them if you're walking, paddling in the sea or from the pool or whatever. You know, they are just really good. So definitely those are going into my bag and then I love these actually so I'm going to be wearing these you know walking through the airport they're fit flop so they've got really good design um, but just look they're really cute these are like feathery tops I actually saw Lily Lily was wearing a pair of very similar ones which she bought which were like silver brogues and I said wow Lil your shoes look amazing where are they from and she said oh my goodness they're so comfortable they give her lots of support because she's got hypermobility and she wears a lot of fit flop um, and so yeah so I got those with the feather on so I am going to be wearing those to and from my vacation and then probably slipping into these poolside and then actually I do have a pair of heels I'm going to take a special pair of heels these are, oh my goodness, probably one of my favourite all-time pairs of shoes. I bought them, they cost me so much money, maybe 30 years ago. I bought them from Gucci. I think I probably bought them in the sale because I wouldn't have been able to afford them otherwise. But aren't they just so beautiful? Really nice high heel, very neutral, that cream suede. And I save them for high days and holidays and special occasions and they just have little ties that tie around the ankle. Oh my goodness, I love these shoes. They remind me of good times. You know, that's the thing about having treasured possessions that just come out at certain times of the year. So these are gonna be my holiday heels. So in addition to having comfortable feet, maybe it's kind of an age thing, but I really need to make sure that I'm comfortable in bed as well and sleep really well. And this is a brand that I discovered quite recently in, it was actually in lockdown last year when it was really hot. And although we were in the UK, it was still, you know, really hot in the night. And this is called If Only If. Interesting name, If Only If. And just look at this. Honestly, it's the prettiest thing. It is super, super fine cotton. Lovely long length, really flattering. It's got a little bit of lace detail, a little bit of uh, gathering under the, the bus darts here really comfortable to wear and you know it just is enough to cover you uh, but really cool and light and floaty absolutely love it so that even the ruching at the back do you see it's just sort of gathered to give you a little bit of shape otherwise I think some nighties can just look like a bit of a sack but this just kind of gives you just that little bit of feminine waist so that is going into my bag for the hot Italian nights then I always pack a really lightweight dressing gown. I mean, it sounds like an extravagance really to take up space with a dressing gown, but look how light this is. I actually bought this in holiday um, in Greece years ago. And I guess it reminded me of Greece being blue and white. But again, it's super fine cotton. And it's just so useful because if you're, you know, staying with friends, um, you know, and you're walking first thing down in the morning, you just want to cover up if you're making a cup of tea. And it's also really good, you can wear it like a duster coat. So you can wear it, you know, you could give it a wash and a press and wear it in the evening as a little jacket over, I don't know, a little pair of shorts or, you know, jeans or wherever, you know, it's just love one of those lovely things. Or poolside, you know, poolside, you could wear this, just slip this over your cosy so that you don't feel too exposed. I always feel a little bit exposed getting out of the swimming pool and you've just got something on that just covers you in a really simple way. So if you can find a really lightweight cotton dressing gown, for me, that's a good investment piece. I've had this for years and years and years and it's even got my favorite pockets. So that's coming with me. Um, I'm actually going to be taking this. This is a me and M shirt had this again for a long time. They do a lot of this kind of thing. They do a lot of layering pieces. 
And the reason that I like these is that they're high neck. And I think as we age, it's really important to think about protecting the neck. And I know we can use sunblock and all of those things, but actually getting a really solid covering with a piece of fabric is just going to save all those moments when we forget the sunscreen or we've toweled off getting out of the pool or whatever, and the sun can really catch you here. And that's the reason why we can get so much crepiness in this area. So, you know, during the day, I will always try and make sure, maybe it's just a scarf tied round or just have some physical fabric protection here. The other thing that I do, this is an old favorite of mine. I mean, again, I've probably had this 20 years. I don't know, I think I bought it in Whistles maybe all that time ago. And it's a really pretty top. However, during the day, I will reverse it. I'll wear it this way round. So again, like with t-shirts, you can wear t-shirts the wrong way round. If I go out for a walk or a run in the morning, I'll just put my t-shirt on back to front so that neck comes up really high and then I don't need to worry about having you know this kind of scoop neck area which is going to get exposed to the sun. So simple tip during the day wear your shirts back to front. Uh, one of the shirts that doesn't give any protection is this lovely one from Borken. You may have seen me do a live with them recently. Love a bit of gingham and I just think this is fun and it's holiday. You know it's not the kind of thing that I would normally wear perhaps in the UK it's, it's probably bit young for me if I'm really honest but I love the fact that you can slip it down off the shoulders so what I don't like is getting strap marks so using a little bit of gingham the ruching it's very on brand right now you could wear that with a little pair of shorts or a little skirt or a pair of trousers whatever so I think that will be a useful thing and again you know these things take up not much space in the luggage by the way a tip that I was always taught by an ace fashion expert when packing is don't fold your clothes but roll them because if you roll them like this whatever it is that you're taking they pack really easily together in your suitcase and then you just unroll them and you haven't got any of those hard edges that you need to get rid of by re-ironing or steaming or whatever um so the other things that i'm taking with me are carol my lovely friend carol McEwen. she's just sent me a couple of her new camisole tops so you'll probably see me wearing these on my Instagram. Love them, love all her things. So easy, so fluid, so flattering. And I love all her details. She's got little weenie sequins. Can you see that in there? I think you can't beat white, can you? It's just such a classic. But she also sent me a pink one. Well-being pink. Pink is kind of one of my colors. And they're quite generous, actually, if you are interested. This is a size one. So, you know, it feels quite loose, quite easy to wear. So I think in the evening, maybe with a little tie-waisted skirt or, again, just slipping it over a swimming cosy during the day if you're having some lunch. Um, the other thing that I'm taking with me is from Asquith. Lovely, sustainable, athletic leisure wear. Do They do a lot of yoga and Pilates. Super soft things made of bamboo and it's all ethically and sustainably made. You may have seen me wear this before. It's a jumpsuit, really lovely dark blue colour. Very, very simple. And it's got the ruched top with elastic, so it just holds itself up. But if you want a bit of extra support, you've got the straps there as well. But I often actually just wear it without the straps. Um, the straps are detachable, so you can take them off or you could tuck them in, whichever. And actually just wearing that, you know, with a pair of heels, in the evening, maybe you could put a nice gold belt or something around it and you're good to go. You know, it literally is one of those things that is multi-function. You can wear it by the pool, could wear it to a market, you could jazz it up with a nice necklace or a scarf and wear it out to dinner and still look perfectly good. So I think clothes that, you know, do a lot of, uh, of heavy duty work, again, you can roll that. And that is going into my case. Uh, the other thing that I like is things that really don't have much in the way of straps because inevitably you come back with strap marks and I don't really like that. So I try and go strapless, not topless, I might add, but, you know, strapless. And this is a Nicole Fari dress. I posted a picture. I actually wore this to the opera a few weeks ago, you know, with jewellery and it was all dressed up. And I worked out it's at least 25 years old, it might even be a bit longer. But just look for something similar. It's really just a simple classic shape. It's just a long midi length and it's elasticated, zip up the back. And again, it's it's just this, that's it. So again, with a pair of you know sandals and a hat, you know, during the day, 
you could go out, you know, oh, wrong way around, you could go out, you know, sightseeing and it's kind of day wear. Um, or, of course, doll it up in the evening and you've got, you know, black always looks so chic, you can't go wrong, can you? You know, you could be on a yacht or you could be going to a swanky dinner or you could be sitting beside the pool, you know, with a margarita or whatever. So that's going in my bag. And again, good soft fabrics, you can just roll them and they pack down really light. Now, if it gets cold in the evening, it's good to take obviously a little cardigan. Um, I've got a selection of things. This is one of my favorites. I just wanted to share it with you because I bought this with one of my first paychecks ever. It must be 30 plus years old. It's actually John Galliano, one of his originals, and it's a little camisole. Look at that detailing. Look at the embroidery on it, on that netting. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I fell in love with it the moment I saw it and I've kept it in my wardrobe all these years. And again, you know, you could wear it with a pair of cotton pants, a little simple skirt, but what it has that went, goes with it is this really super fine cardigan. And sometimes I'll just wear this on its own without the, the camisole, I'll just slip it over a dress. But again, look at those sleeves. I mean, it's just exquisite. It's almost like a piece of couture. I bought it from Brown's Fashion with, um, as I say, one of my very first paychecks. I think I was probably working at Moulton Brown. So maybe it's even 35 years ago. I don't know. But you know, those are classic pieces, aren't they? That you just keep, you keep and keep and keep, and then you love them and they come out and you treasure them and, you know, hand wash them and pack them away carefully in tissue so the moths don't get them ready for the next time. And of course, again, they fold really small, these little silky sweaters. Um, the other thing that I'm going to be taking, talking of silky, is these are my lovely friends who have an ethical fashion brand called Beulah London. And this, I did a photo shoot with them a couple of years ago and they gave me this outfit in return and it's just beautiful tiered silk. Lovely, lovely dress. I mean, not dress, they do a dress version, but really beautiful skirt in this kind of holiday colour. I don't often wear this colour, but I think holidays are a time when you can afford to be a bit bolder. So this is the skirt and all their silks are hand blocked by women in India, very often who've been rescued as victims of human trafficking or sex slave industry. And they give them skills training and support them and they get them to do these beautiful designs, they teach them and then they buy the fabrics and then import them. And it's worn by people like the Duchess of Cambridge, you'll often see her wearing Beulah. Absolutely love this. So I'm hoping that there might be an occasion. And again, being chiffon, super light and easy to wear, and just rolls down into virtually nothing. Again, you can just roll this, and it just, whoops, just disappears into your suitcase. And it has got a little top, little camisole top, that matches so it does look like a dress actually when you're wearing it or you can just wear the camisole separately so separates I think are always a nice idea. Um, one of the dresses that I have bought recently which was from Borken the ethical fashion brand again same company as the black and white check and this is a bias cut slip dress and it is just so easy to wear you know these kind of slip dresses cut on the bias so they're really flattering and again, super easy to pack. They pack down really small, very easy cowl neck. They look really elegant, but they don't look as though you're trying too hard. You can you know, wear them barefoot. You could wear them with a simple pair of sandals, or you can really doll them up with a clutch bag and a high heel. Easy, just slip it on and you feel that you've really made an effort to go out in the evening. And if you want to make even more of an effort, then just take something like a little kind of sparkly, Bit of glamour. I don't know if I'm going to get the opportunity to wear this, but I just loved it. I was in doing some filming in Australia back in the day when I was connected to the Lizelle Beauty Company and I was working on a TV show over there in Sydney and I discovered this great brand called Colette Dinnegan and I bought a couple of her things just as a little treat and one of them is this little tiny kind of bolero. But you see how that just transforms anything. I mean, you could get, you know, if you were clever with a needle or you had a dressmaker friend, you know, you could just make something like this. So easy and really useful to have when somebody says, oh, we're gonna go out somewhere really smart and you've just got maybe, I was thinking I could obviously wear it over maybe the Borken 
that would kind of bring it to life, wouldn't it? Because it's got the lovely gold in that. I thought that would work really well. Or even, where's my little black one? You know, that would, I thought would work really well as well. If I was doing sleeveless black, just wanting to pop a little bit of something over the top to glam it up. You never know, do you? You never know where you might get asked to go. So be prepared. I was a girl guide, be prepared. Actually, I wasn't a girl guide, I was a brownie, but I was a senior sixer in the brownies. And then last but not least, a couple of accessories. Um, I always take a crossbody bag. This is one of my favorites. I've had this so long, I forget. Oh, it's a Salvatore Ferragamo. I must have had this about 30 years. It comes out every summer. It's a great shape, you know, crossbody, really great for traveling because you can just pop your passports, your tickets, everything in there and you don't have to worry about it and it's kind of safe enough. Um, you can also take, take them off and just hold them as little clutch bags in the evening. But I think crossbody bags are the way to go, really ergonomic. You're not getting any shoulder strain by having just a bag, you know, hitched over one shoulder. So big fan of crossbody bags. And last but not least, a hat. If you want to get ahead, get a hat. And I like hats that you can roll. So I'm forever leaving hats on trains and in cars and in restaurants or whatever. So if I can take a hat off and squash it and pop it in my bag, chances are it will stay with me through the holiday. Now, this is one I actually picked up in Kenya. I'm not sure if it's available globally. Look them up. It's called sunhats.co.za. Is that Zambia? M. Thunzini hats. But anyway, you get the idea. It's basically just a soft fabric hat. I'll put all the details, by the way, in the link. So if you want to check on anything, we'll try and find out stockists and sources if you want to um, to find them. But having something with a brim, really good because it shades your face and you know you can just change the shape of it if you want, if you want to be a bit in incognito like that, or you know, tip it back off your face or you know, just, just plonk it on basically. But what's really good about these soft hats is that they squash and they fold and you can pop that in your bag. Um, lastly, this one is also coming with me and it's one of my favorite ethical hat brands, Pachacuti, and they hand make in Panama their original Panama hats. And again, with these, they are designed that you can fold them and that you can roll them if you needed to. So again, you can then pack them really flat, pop them into just a little side pocket in your bag, give them a shake. If you can, if you need to, you could steam them, put them over a kettle when you get to wherever you are or just sort of in the heat, just re um, put your fingers over the brim just to straighten it out again. And I think that you can't beat a classic kind of Panama shape just to take you from sightseeing to poolside to whenever, my goodness. I am so getting in the holiday mood. I hope you've enjoyed that. Let me know, leave me a comment below. I'll try and leave more videos as I go on my travels and I will pop everything that I've talked about in a link in the caption. Don't forget to click subscribe if you'd like more videos here at Lizar Wellbeing. It just makes it very easy to find them. And you can even click the little bell icon that gives you a notification every time I upload something new. Can't wait to be away. See you soon.